Now at 7, a nationwide manhunt is over for a San Jose woman accused of killing her 7-year-old son. Good evening and thank you for watching Cron On. I'm Ella Sigamonian. We have Cron On's Teresa Stasio on this story for us and she has the up-to-date details surrounding this investigation. Well, Ella, the, I think the main point right now is we know that detectives are interviewing the mom, trying to figure out exactly what happened in this case, what was the motive, why it was that she is reportedly accused now, of course, because she's not been found guilty of murdering her seven-year-old boy, Liam. We've got some pictures of Samantha Rodriguez as well as her seven-year-old boy, Liam. This all started a couple weeks ago at the end of May where Samantha left a message for her uh, common-law husband and said that she was leaving. She packed everything up and she drove off with their seven-year-old. Police then tracked her vehicle as she went to down south in California. And then for some reason, they don't know, she went to Las Vegas. It was about a week ago where Las Vegas Metro Police found the body of a child. They did not know the identification of the child. And then there was this development where there was a sketch that was put out, a $10,000 reward, and there was someone here in San Jose that recognized that sketch and tied it to Liam, who had left with his mother, Samantha. And then early this morning at around 6 o'clock in Denver, there was an arrest of Samantha Rodriguez, accused now of killing her 7-year-old son. We spoke with the Metro Police Department in Las Vegas at a news conference earlier today, as well as the San Jose Police Department, about this very tragic story. Listen. A friend of the family comes here to the police department and makes us aware of this sketch in Las Vegas. She thinks that sketch looks like Liam. Uh, immediately, you know, we connect that information with the information we had from June 1st and contacted Las Vegas Metro. Uh, that got the ball rolling. Uh, one of their detectives came here to San Jose, retrieved an item with uh, some DNA, and they were able to make the match uh, with Liam in, in Las Vegas. She specifically tells him, quote, I'm sorry I had to do it like this. She also goes on to say that I'm going to try to get a house for Liam and I, and that we can talk about this in the future. There was nothing suspicious in that message. And what Lieutenant Spencer there from Las Vegas is referring to is that when Samantha Rodriguez left with her son, Liam Ella, she left this message. And so the dad didn't think that there was something unusual, that it wasn't a parental abduction. He just kind of figured that she would contact him at some point. He did eventually go to the San Jose Police Department and say that he was concerned that he wanted to at least report that she had been gone for a couple of days, but there was nothing in her message to give the suggestion that there was some kind of foul play or, or something ominous about her leaving, other than the fact, of course, that she did leave with their son. So the grandfather has spoken and said that Liam uh, had autism and that it had been a very difficult year because of the fact that there was COVID and that a caretaker had left because of COVID and that it was a very difficult and challenging situation, as you can imagine. But right now, detectives in Denver, Las Vegas police went over to Denver to try and interview Samantha Rodriguez. She's 35 years old, and they're trying to figure out exactly what happened, why it was reportedly, of course, that she drove to Las Vegas and murdered her son, left her son in some remote section in Las Vegas and then drove to Denver. She was uh, in a motel in Denver and she was arrested with a man. They don't believe that that man had anything to do with the death of Liam. But as you can hear as I'm talking about the story, there are many moving parts and we're not exactly sure what all happened with this woman, but we do know that right now she's accused of murdering her son. Here in San Jose, Teresa Stasio, back to you. Certainly a lot of people want to know why exactly that mother might have done this, uh, but no answer can really bring him back, and I can't imagine how that family must feel. Thank you so much to Teresa Stasio for that report. Now to the South Bay today.